Hi guys! Welcome to my very first Minecraft video. This is my house. Um, we are on seed negative nine zero two something something something. It's got a bunch of numbers. I recognize it as negative nine zero two. I think it's the only one that is well known that starts with that. It's got lots and lots of ore. You can see all of the 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 coal that's just in that mountain over there we haven't even bothered to get because right underneath this house is a ma massive cave system which has tons of stuff we got lots of diamonds and lapis lazulis and all sorts of things but anyway it's a great seed not only because the landscape is gorgeous but because there's a ton of material to work with anyway so I didn't cheat I didn't cheat to make this house it was made completely by hand. Um, this giant pit here used to be filled with sand and sandstone. You can kind of see some more of it over there. Um, I dug it up completely by hand. I don't care if you don't believe me. I did it. It was amazing. This theater, however, I cheated all over the place to make because there was no way I was going to kill as many sheep as I would have had to for all of the wool that's involved. Anyway, um, let me show it to you at night. It's pretty cool. I like the way that it came out. I used redstone lamps to make the flashing lights. They're quite random, but they work. Um, and uh, thank you, by the way, to everybody who gave me all of the wonderful ideas that I have implemented into this theater. Not all of this was completely my idea. Um, I got a lot of the little quirky things from different videos I've seen and they're all awesome so thank you I'm using a painterly texture pack which has uh, Nintendo paintings which are awesome and I'm using them as my movie posters and as you can see we are showing Pac-Man the movie because that was the only thing I could kind of draw on the screen so here's my ticket booth It's kinda lame you can tell it's the ticket booth because it says tickets right there Otherwise, I'm not sure that anybody would know. I used iron doors because I thought they looked prettier. And then I have these pressure plates, which can get annoying because if you get anywhere near them, the doors open and close. This is my concessions area. That's my, my cotton candy counter. Can you tell? Because there's weird, bulbous cotton candy type things in there. And over here, I've got my popcorn counter. Popcorn! And you can kind of tell that it's a popcorn box, I think. My boyfriend thinks I'm crazy, but... Yeah, popcorn. And here's the theater itself. I made a bunch of um, chandeliers. There's a big one in the middle and a couple ones on the side. They're very dark, but it's a theater. It's supposed to be dark. And I've labeled each of the rows because I'm that much of a dork that since I work at a theater, I know how to label them and so I did because they're signs and why not this is Pac-Man this is the movie I hope you enjoy it it's pretty awesome um, yeah it is a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to turn out I thought it was going to be so much bigger but unfortunately to be able to make these chairs with the armrests they have to be um, a full block away from another chair with an armrest because I guess the armrest kind of takes up a block so I had to space out the chairs more than I wanted to and so there's not as many in here as I originally had thought would fit but oh well it still looks pretty cool um, anyway it's got a little backstage area both stage left and stage right have little back area here um, I liked the idea of being able to show the screen from behind because it is actually what it kind of looks like at a theater is you see the image on the front and you see it opposite on the back minus the Pac-Man because he couldn't be seen through and here are my dressing rooms here's the stars dressing room they're very important so they get lots of paintings lots of paintings and also a couple of places to put their things and a big row of iron blocks which are supposed to be mirrors it's the best I could do 
And then here is the co-star's dressing room. That's what I think you co-star. Here's a chair. I felt bad, so I gave him a flower. And then I don't know what I'm going to do right here. Um, I need to do something in this area. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. Uh, one of the guys that I play with on this server wants to build a an area where he can put uh, a zombie or something and then block it off or at least put an area where monsters will spawn so you can kind of hear them through the walls and then say it's the phantom of the theater. Anyway, these are light riggings. Sort of. It's the best I could do. Um, I'm still kind of working on the back here, but if you have any suggestions for this back area or anything else that I could add to the theater to make it look even better, please tell me. I'd love to hear it. Um, in any case, that's what I've got done so far, and uh, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.